Before we get started in reading, there are two helpful information you're going to need to know. The very first one is footnotes. Footnotes are extra information needed in order for a reader to understand what is going on in the text. If I look at the page on page six, I will notice at the very bottom there are it's a mini font and it says one Robin Hood and it has a description or a definition attached to this word Robin Hood. What that means is on page six somewhere there is a word Robin Hood and that is where I would need to know and understand what Robin Hood means. If I look at the very first paragraph where it's italicized, you'll see the word Robin Hood right over here. And there is a one, which is the footnote, and that is where you will find it. So I can, I know from reading the description, Robin Hood is, seems like he's an outlaw and a hero from an English folklore. So in this folk tale, this Robin Hood character seems to be um, the main hero of the story, yet he's running away from the law. So that is a footnote. The second thing uh, is important for you to know before you start reading is dialect. I'm going to turn the page and dialect is um, a language that a group of people uses um, and um, it's from a specific region. Okay, so I'm going to explain um, Tom Sawyer. They are from the south, the southern states. So a lot of the words that they use are not very similar to what we use. And also the time period is a little different as well. We're gonna look at the page eight and on paragraph 16, right over here, it says, I shan't, why don't you fall yourself? You're getting the worst of it. So this right here, we don't usually use the word shan't, right? Shan't is a dialect from a long time ago, the 13th century in central England. So Robin Hood, that story uses that dialect. Then in paragraph 17, the dialect changes. Why? That ain't anything. I can't fall. That ain't the way it is in the book. The book says, then with one backhanded stroke, he slew poor guy of Gisborne. So if we look at this word ain't in paragraph 17, that's not what how we usually write or how we usually talk. It's not grammatically correct. However, because the boys are talking with each other, they're using a lot of slang. And as you read, these two boys, they're not educated. They are not used to going to school. So there's no one there to correct their grammar. So as you read the different excerpts from Tom Sawyer, you're going to be imagining yourself in the South Missouri along the Mississippi River, and they have an accent, okay, a Southern accent. And on top of that, these boys don't have a good education. So they're using a lot of slang and a lot of incorrect grammar. So those are the two helpful tips that you're going to need to know as you read these stories. One is the footnote. The second is the dialect that the characters are using.